regional and county commanders. But I'm told CS James Masharia is the one on the podium right now, I believe. Uh, let's listen in. For each of those counties, we must agree on which roads to do and agree on the timelines on which to complete those projects. So individually, we have targets for each county. Individually, we have the kind of money to be spent for each, for each county, and it's contained in this document. And Waziri, uh, after we leave this meeting, I'll be dissecting this document to 47 different documents, which I will share with the different county commissioners. Because we'd like you to help us in two things as county commissioners. Number one, it is a performance, individual performance of the roads the president has signed off, and which we have committed to the president that we shall complete. As of now, out of the 10,000 kilometers, 6,000 kilometers are either completed or under construction under what we call the Kenya Rural Roads Authority, KERA. And then we have about another 3,000, which is under Kenha, which is Kenya National Highways. And another 1,000, Ada Kura, which is Kenya Urban Roads. The critical thing is KERA, the Kenya Rural Roads, because that's where Mwananchi is, in the Mashidani. For the highways, that's no issue because we have donor agencies to work with us. For the town roads, Nairobi, Outering, those ones, we are near those roads, so we know how to manage them. The issue is the Kenya rural roads, which, as you know, the kind of framework we have in the ministry, I have no capacity every day to be on the ground to see what is happening. And so as I'm so happy that we have the county commissioners here, representing the 47 counties, you are on the ground and you know what is happening, you know which road is not being done, you know which regional manager is not working, and this is the kind of support now we need from you. I was driving from the Lefty Valley uh, mid this week and the president called me when I was driving the escarpment and he told me about this initiative of using the county commissioner's uh, framework and infrastructure to work with us. And I told His Excellency, we could not have had a better and timely intervention. Because what is happening on the ground is that we have reports coming from, count from the regional managers in Kera, coming from the resident engineers. They are being sent to us. Then we update this document. The problem is, is not all the time that those documents sent to us are accurate. And so we require the intervention, we require the input of the county commissioners to say they know within their counties how I deal your roads performing. So that if I tell the president that certain road is being done 80%, if he goes there and finds that it's 20%, then we have a joint accountability. You have helped me by telling me that this, 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 this regional manager of care is lying to you because you are on the ground and you know what is happening. And this was very evident last year because you know last year the president, deputy president, many of us, we went to the ground talking to the people about development. And each time we go to the crowd, the president will be told, Mutufkulais i barabara in Mekwama. And that was a problem for me. And so I'm so happy today because we are getting, I think, concurrence from you that indeed you'll be helping us evaluate the performance of these roads. For that, I think I propose that whenever I visit counties, as it should be, the first stop will be the county commissioner's office. And then you give me a brief to be determine what is working, what is not working, even before I meet my people. 
Secondly, and this is critical, and this in fact was actually directed by the President himself, before we pay any contract, before any contract is paid, they say that certificate, that certificate must be countersigned by the county commissioner. Because you see what is happening now, the contractors are conniving, they are colluding with the regional managers to say this milestone has been achieved, therefore it sends a certificate for 500 million and we pay. Because as I said, I cannot be in 47 counties every day. So it's been directed and this now be policy going forward that before any contract certificate is signed for payment, we must get the county of the county commissioner. To me, that would be critical because of knowing that indeed I'm paying something which has been evaluated by somebody who has a national, national interest, in the particular interest of the county he or her is managing. So that is one of the key interventions which we shall be looking forward in terms of making sure that we achieve what the President committed to do, uh, especially now in the second term. The second area which I would like you to support us, uh, other than the ongoing projects, is what we call emergency interventions. Uh, you know when it rains, we get a lot of proposals from members of parliament, the political establishment saying this bridge has collapsed, this road has been washed away, and they come with letters from regional managers from Kerala. Usually those submissions are suspect. And because you live in those counties, you should know which road has been swept and swept away, you should know which I'll be seeking your input so that you tell me indeed this road in Kapenguria has been washed away. This road in Masabit has been washed away because as a CS I can't go there every day. And you see what I'm saying is some of the members of parliament they go to the regional managers they, they drop letters saying emergency required. Usually there is no emergency required. And when the money goes there, it's mis 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 uh, appropriated. And so I want you to, you to give me your input to say that, Mr. Minister, before you sign off for these emergency roads, emergency interventions, you like, would like to confirm that indeed it is required. And then, you being on the ground, you also know the priority of the people on the ground. Emergency can be anything. Emergency is relative. But it's for you to determine what indeed is an emergency, given that we have limited funds. So, by you communicating with us directly, with my office, with me, you can indeed tell me that indeed, even before they write to me, you tell me that Panawaziri, you require to intervene in this particular area. That way we shall be able to help our people achieve what you want. Once again, let me repeat. From today, I'll be requesting you, as directed by the President, to be countersigning all the certificates coming to me for payment. But really, I think uh, for now, that's what, uh, that's what I'd like to request. And uh, as I said, that helps me a lot in terms of achieving the objectives of the Ministry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. It's now... I would want to request the Cabinet Secretary for Energy and Petroleum, Honorable Charles Keter, to make his remarks. And we have seen, working together with the Ministry of Energy, we have connected all our schools. Karib uh, Wasiri. Thank you, uh, Dr. Bellion, uh, my colleague, Dr. Fred Matiangi, who is our host uh, uh, today, uh, colleague Macharia, the PSS who are here. Uh, officers from the Interior Ministry and the Education Ministry. Uh, good morning. 
and Happy New Year. Well, uh, uh, I'm not really new in this field because from my past experience as a member of parliament, I've seen faces whereby I interacted with them when they were the district commissioners and when they were the DOs. Sometimes I find it difficult, the names you have now, regional commission. I used to know of a PC, a county commissioner, but we are getting used to. I want to say before, uh, it is good to know uh, why uh, we are here. It's because we work for one government. The, the projects which we do in the Ministry of Energy are for one government under the leadership of our president. Therefore, it is time that we harmonize the way we operate. And it is really essential. And I really want maybe for, to run you in the next few minutes about the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum because maybe we know only some of the agencies. It is good to know which, uh, which agencies falls under the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum so that in one way or another as we make the pronouncements which I'm making, which I'm going to say before I end my speech, you will know which one falls under you. We have the Energy Regulatory Commission, which regulates all the activities of the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum, both electricity and petroleum. We have Kenya KPLC, uh, which deals with the distribution uh, network all the way to uh, 132 KV lines the high voltage lines. So basically, KPLC deals with the low voltage and a bit of um, uh, 33, 66, and 132. We have Kentraco, which now deals from 132 onwards. The, the, the biggest line we have at the moment in Kenya, we are building, uh, we, have, we have commissioned the first one. All the way to Mombasa. Uh, we are building the, the 500 kV line from Ethiopia all the way to Suswa. That is the work of Kentraco, and, and, uh, and you know the areas where they pass by. We also have a Kenjan dealing with the uh, ge generation, geothermal and hydros, and maybe a bit of uh, diesel in Mombasa, Kibefu. We have GDC essentially dealing uh, with uh, 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 drilling and exploration. Uh, bought in a, in a, uh, uh, Olkaria, Menengai, and Baringo Selale. We also have a national oil, which essentially deals with the downstream. Those are uh, service uh, stations, lubricants, and the others. We have a bit of the upstream, which we co-share with the Ministry of Energy in terms of the exploration. And we are doing a lot of exploration across all the counties not only where we have found oil in Turkana, it's cut across all the counties. We have a Kenya pipeline, which deals with the transportation of fuel all the way uh, from Mombasa, all the way to Kisumu. And I will mention the other projects about that. We have nuclear, which essentially we are carrying on studies. We are going through uh, a lot of implementation but that is basically based here in Nairobi. We have, um, is there one I've missed? I've uh, I mentioned Kentraco, GDC, uh, KTLC, Pipeline. We have Rural Electrification Authority, which essentially deals also with the transmission of the uh, LV line, both with KTLC. Having said, I think we have about nine entities or so. In one way or another, it cuts across all the counties. There are some of the activities which are basically controlled from the headquarters, but majority of the activities from the other uh, suckers are decentralized. We have offices for KPLC across the country. We have offices also in the 47 counties for Rural Electrification Authority. The others, we don't have offices because they are controlled in the head office, but they have activities which run across all the counties.
or wherever any one of us, be it the president, the deputy president, my chair, anybody, any Kenyan, visit your office as a county commissioner, as a regional commissioner. Do you know what goes around within your county? That is a big question, and I remember uh, when I started, when I joined politics, there used to be the informal DCCs. I think the senior, the senior people will remember that DCCs used to be very strong. You sit. cuts across all your district, all your county. Therefore, it's high time that you as a regional commissioner, you as a county commissioner, you not necessarily have to deal with the issues which touches on administration only. It's high time that you need to know issues which touches on energy, roads, etc. So that the point of convergence will be your office. Therefore, we have made a decision and we have directed all our officers uh, yesterday that at the, uh, from the, at the end of this meeting, they will work under you. The KPLC person in Kericho will work under my county commissioner, Kericho. It will be you now, the county commissioner, to have your structures very well. You call a meeting, they have, they have gotten the instructions very clear. There are projects which are ongoing. They all have, we have a lot of projects which cut across. We, they will be able to give you all the projects which are ongoing. We will also, on our side, on my level, will give my colleague Matiangi all the projects which are ongoing. There are a lot of projects which we are going to implement. Primary schools, when we came into government in 2013, there were about 8,200 primary, uh, primary schools with, with electricity. 